told tale about two brothers, Pumbu and Nuru. Pumbu was a hard-working and kind-hearted, uh, kind, was hard-working and kind-hearted, but Nuru was selfish, mean, and lazy. Watch and learn, boys and girls, and see what happens. The story of Hungbu and Norbu, story edited by Edward Adams. A long time ago in a land far away lived a man who had two sons. His vast land had many fields, and above the fields were many trees with abundant wildlife. His farmhouse was a mansion, and there was enough for all to share. One day, he called his two sons to his bedside to bid them farewell. My sons, you must remember what I have taught you about being kind to your neighbors, he said. There is enough land here for all of you to, to live together without fighting. You are brothers, so be good to each other. For a while, they remembered what their father had said and were kind to each other. However, Norbu, the eldest, was a miser and his wife was selfish. Kumbu, the youngest, was gentle and would rather say nothing than cause an argument. Norbu's wife treated Hungbu and his family poorly and made them work very hard. One day, Norbu and his wife got upset and said, Get out of this house! Without any word, Kumbu left everything and went to find a new home with this family. Kumbu and his family was now poor and didn't have much to eat and did not have a place to sleep. Next day, Kumbu built a small hut to live in. On one sunny day, a small swallow came and started to build a nest in the straw eaves of Kumbu's hut. As Kumbu was working outside of his hut, he saw a snake gliding over to the nest. One swallow fell out of the nest and broke one of its legs. Kumbu felt sorry for the swallow and took good care of it. When it became fall, all the swallows flew to the southern sea. When they got there, they met the queen swallow. They told her about Hungbu's kindness. Next spring, she gave the swallow a white seed to take to Hungbu as a present. The swallow flew to the small hut and dropped the white seed at the foot of Hungbu. What is this? he exclaimed. I will plant it in the garden by the kitchen so we can watch it grow. Soon, a tiny bud began to grow, and within several weeks, white flowers appeared, which soon ripened into five boards. Wow, look at how they're growing so fast, Kumbu exclaimed to his wife. These gourds grew to be the biggest ones they had ever seen. With the wood saw, they began to cut the first gourd in half. Then, all of a sudden, fairies came out of the board. to you, the fairies said. The fairies gave them precious jewels, a beautiful house, lots of rice, and silk. Kumbu became a very wealthy man. His brother was rich and heard the story of the swallow who brought the magic seed. He got very jealous. He quickly ran to his house and found the swallow's nest. He took a stone and threw it to knock it down. When the poor swallow fell, Norbu took the swallow and roughly tied up the broken leg and threw the bird into the air. Fly away now, he yelled.
get me a magic seed too. However, when the queen swallow heard how Norbu treated the swallow, she got very angry. She gave the swallow a white seed to take back. The swallow flew over Norbu's house and dropped the white seed. Norbu planted the seed immediately. When the gourds grew, Norbu quickly yanked the gourds out of the ground and began to saw. Norbu sliced the gourd in half, expecting the fairies to come out. All of a sudden, the monsters came out. Wicked Norbu, we came to take all your treasures away, cried the monsters. Thank you. 